Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the MSI GTX GeForce GTX 670 Power Edition. So this is unique because it has triple voltage that is an enhanced power delivery design which allows you to actually overvolt the GPU which reference boards can't do. So you can use MSI Afterburner which is conspicuously missing its little badge on the front. Ah, there it is. You can use MSI Afterburner to overclock this graphics card significantly better, probably, in theory. You know, I can't guarantee overclocking results than a reference GTX 670 or even a non-reference GTX 670 that doesn't use their, you know, military class beefy components as well as their unique voltage controller design that actually allows the card to be overvolted because normal GTX 670s have uh, some trouble with that. So here we go, triple over voltage by MSI Afterburner, so voltage adjustment of GPU memory and PLL by Afterburner. Uh, military class three components, we've come to expect this from these guys, so they're super ferrite chokes, highly conductive capacitors, 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 and solid caps. MSI Afterburner we've talked about already, enhanced PWM design, enhances overclocking stability. Okay, got it. And media's comment to twin frozer thermal design. Ah, yes, so it uses their twin frozer cooler. This uses a twin. Uh, hey, Alex, does this use twin frozer three or four? Four. Okay, thank you. We've actually got Alex here from MSI while we film these, and then I have to give these back to him to take with him because uh, he needs them for some kind of. Sorry, where are you going? Uh, Alaska. Well, he says he's going to Alaska with them, but I don't believe that for a second. So, dual Molex to. Uh, uh, six pin PCIe connectors, you've got two of them. In terms of included accessories, you usually find those with MSI cards down here, DVI to VGA, as well as, you know, user's guide, driver disc you don't need, and all of that normal stuff. Now let's get into the graphics card itself. So the most unique thing about this card, as I said before, is not what you're going to find on the card. However, it does have their Twin Frozer 4 cooler. So Twin Frozer keeps evolving. The original Twin Frozer was just two fans on a heatsink. The Twin Frozer 2 added super pipes. The Twin Frozer 3 added the propeller blade fans, which with their coating at the end here is less conducive to noise production or less less noisy because of the way that the turbulence is reduced, as well as, uh, aha, the, the inclusion with Twin Frozer 4 is the fact that the fans spin backwards for a little while before spinning forward, which is helpful for reducing dust buildup on the heatsink itself because you can build the best heatsink in the world, but then you cake it up with dust and it doesn't work at all. So so that's uh, that's all the different things that have gone into Twin Frozer. It also looks cooler now than it used to. Uh, card design. So check this out. It has a full board. I don't know how much you can see it, but you see here. It has a full board unisync that actually adds to the structural rigidity of the board as well as increasing cooling. So any components that need cooling, you can see they have thermal pads for things like RAM right there, so they're making contact, spreading that heat out, and any components that don't need cooling are popping up through it. See? Just like that. However, that's not to say they're not getting any cooling anyway, because the design of the Twin Frozer cooler blows air down over the entire PCB anyhow. Uh, you find most of the other stuff that you're used to, dual DVI, display port, as well as HDMI out. So this is a GTX 600 series card, which means you got full support for NVIDIA uh, 3D Vision surround off of a single card. And with the 670, you can actually get away with that. However, with some of the lower end stuff, you aren't going to be able to run three displays at 1080p and 3D and at any kind of you know, decent frame rate. I mean, this is probably where I would start and then maybe add another one if you're not happy with the frame rate. Speaking of adding another one, GTX 670 does support up to four-way SLI. So one, two, three, or four cards are all supported. And you got, uh, ah, yes, non-reference PCB. So we've talked about this a little bit already, but... The reference GTX 670 PCB is like here. It cuts off here. So there's just not as much room to put on beefy power components and to have the power connectors at the end of the board, which is a little bit better for cable management, and to just have more room to lay things out rather than cramping them all together. So that's the advantage of getting a non-reference card for something like a high-end GPU, like a GTX 670. So I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the GeForce GTX 670 Power Edition from MSI. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.